Well, hi there. So, hi there. My tablet's not working really well. And uh, so I wanted to do a super soup. I haven't done one in uh, about two weeks. So uh, because of eye issues and things of that sort, I still haven't been able to read uh, my comic books yet. But I do want to talk about something that's been kind of uh, I've been wanting to discuss. It's the difference between comic books and movies. Now, just recently, Deadpool was released their uh, its trailer and very funny. Uh, very cool stuff, and uh, and I'm loving what I'm seeing so far in the trailer. But my biggest concern is that, and because I'm a big comic book geek, is I want I want to see the comic books come to life. Now, a lot of times you can get a good amount of that done through the animation, but through the real live action uh, movies, uh, not so much position and things of that sort um, because baby boy is a very needy today. So like perfect example, Guardians of the Galaxy. If anyone has ever read the Guardians of the Galaxy comic books, know for a fact that the Guardians of the Galaxy movie had very little to know to do with that. I had to open up a Hot Wheels car for my son. He he wanted me to open up a package. So anyway, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. So the characters that they had, they had a few that were from the original, um, but most of those characters uh, weren't even in the original comic books. And so there's that. Um, and you'll see a lot of that, of course. A lot of the Avengers stuff that you see and the X-Men, uh, a lot of it plays somewhat true to the comic books, but not to the point that, uh, you know, some of the storylines, some of the characters have been altered for the movies, which I understand needs to happen. Now, my biggest concern is that what about the history? Because I know that Marvel and, and let, let me throw this out. Marvel's comics movie franchise are killing Marvel comics. And let me say this. I'm not a big fan of Fantastic Four. I'm not even a huge fan of X-Men. There's some X-Men I like um, in the beginning, but not so much, you know, since they began to be very much like the Avengers and they have tons of characters to keep up with, things of that sort. But taking away through the Secret Wars, Fantastic Four, and X Men just simply because you no longer have the rights to create the movies, and now you're making Inhumans, which no one really cared about. Let's be honest. No one cares about the Inhumans. No one reads the comic books. I know that people will start wanting to have Black Bolt and Medusa, you know, stuff. But no one ever usually, on a regular basis, read the Inhuman comic books. Um, so, now I'm making everybody Inhumans via Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., from what I understand. I've not watched all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I've, I've been watching some of it, trying to catch up on it. But, so, so what does that do for the comic book industry? Well, one, it, it streamlines and makes everything that they do and the comic books fit the movie line, but all of that back history is just erased. You know, you're getting rid of mutants and, and you're getting rid of uh, such created uh, Jack Kirby and, and, and Stan Lee and uh, historical stuff that was created. And mutants were very much about, you know, social injustice and, and, and things of that sort. And now you're just like, oh, these are just modified people or you know it just takes away something from the comic books i think but that's me you know i i don't know if they're going to be go well obviously fox can say that um as a matter of fact i don't even know if deadpool is going to be saying that he's a mutant because he is and but it sounds like they're giving him the powers of 
like Wolverine. So there's that um, aspect of it that they're kind of leaving out from the comic books. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think there should be more canon comic book stuff in the movies? Or do you think it's okay for them just to rewrite the stuff, a.k.a. Fantastic Four, uh, current, soon-to-be flop uh, going on? So let me know what you think. I I just, just want them to be a little bit more streamlined with the comic books so it will encourage people to go back and read the comic books. I love that the, you know, they have Daredevil uh, series. has helped out a lot. Um, and that allows people to go back and read the old Daredevil comic books, see when he was all in red instead of this kind of dark character. Um, I'm hoping that the um, Power Man and, and, and Iron Fist helps people go back and read about those characters. Um, I love the Defenders uh, Marvel comic book series, and I hope that encourages people to go back and read what those originally. Once again, I don't foresee them doing the same Angel. Uh, they had uh, different uh, Demon Hunter, and they had the Beast in Defenders. So I don't foresee them using those characters. Um, they had Doctor Strange in it, though. Um, and they had the Hulk and some of the Defenders. It was just it was just crazy mix up um, of just thrown together uh, superheroes. So go back and read some of the Defenders. Go back and read some of the stuff, um, and see what would you change in the movies. What would you change in the DC? I mean, uh, in the uh, in the comic book. Now, granted, I've not watched a lot of the DC stuff, so from what I've seen in on the internet, the DC is probably a little bit better at matching up the uh, the comic book as well as the the TV shows. So. Hey, tell me, inform me about the DC. Maybe DC is better. Maybe I need to change from Marvel to DC. I don't know. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the super suit. And uh, I'll be just posting this to my Geeky Hoodie uh, fan page. I'm probably going to discontinue the separate super suit just so you can find all my videos that I do if you want to see them, whatever. So, all right. See you guys. Bye. Doo -doo, my big old hand is in the end. Got the big old five.